This is Gaga Joy at Gaga Joy's Cooking. Today we're going to be making uh, caramel apples. And this is my daughter. She makes the pretty things, I've told you before. So she's going to be making a, a candy apple carnival tonight. She loves caramel and uh, so this is a good thing for her to be doing. Go. Okay, tonight we're going to do some caramel apples. And one thing that that I want to talk about first is this, when you buy apples, you can get red, green, whatever kind of apple you like. Some are sour, some are sweet. It's just your choice. Um, tonight we have a combination of both. We've got red and green. But um, what you want to do first thing is you want to make sure that you're going to put your stick in here. Well, well, first of all, you should wash these apples and get the uh, wax off of them. Well, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. What you want to make sure and do yet. is you want boiling water and then you want to put your apple in that water and you want to roll it around for about a minute and get all all of the wax off of that that you can because the less wax the better the apple is going to take. Um, have you ever done a caramel apple and there's bubbles and, and it just looks a little crazy? Well when you get the wax off of the apple that ensures a really nice caramel apple. So what we want to do is do that first. It takes about a minute because you want to make sure it's good and clean. Then you want to wipe it off. Try to get all of the wax off that you can. That's the goal. And then after that, you can use whatever kind of stick you would like. I, I like the big sticks. I like them to be stable and so when I'm eating a caramel apple, I don't, have, I don't want to worry about them breaking or anything else. So then you will put in your stick. And that's the first part. Now after that, what we're going to do is we're going to make our own caramel. Um, I have used the, the caramel that you buy in the store and you undo it and you put it in there and you melt them. And those are very good. But this recipe is very easy, it's simple, and it's very delicious. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that now. Okay, so what we want to do first is we're going to use two sticks of butter. Butter makes everything better. We're going to put this on medium heat. Um, after that, we are going to add a cup of corn syrup. syrup. Cairo syrup. That's good and delicious looking. Then we're going to use two cups of packed brown sugar. And then we're going to use one can of sweetened condensed milk. We want to get everything out of there. Make sure we use all of that goodness. Don't want to waste any of that. And then we're going to put this on medium heat. We want to get it boiling a little bit, not a lot, but we do want it to um, to get good and hot. So what we're going to do now is this is going to take a little bit of time. You got to have a little bit of patience with it because once it starts heating up, you're not going to be able to walk away from this at all. I mean, five seconds can be the difference in burnt or not burnt caramel. So we're going to sit here, we're going to babysit this for just a little while. What the, the goal is to get a little bit of a bowl started. And then after that, we'll cut the heat down. So. Okay, right now we've got it at a bowl. And we just want to keep this on low and we're going to stir it. And we're going to get this to 250 or 248 degrees. Uh, they say 250, but I think that's just a little, it makes it a little bit too hard. So at this point, you want to make sure that you are constantly stirring. Not, you know, do not walk away from this at all. It needs to be constantly stirred. Okay, so you can see the color of this now. It's starting to look like caramel. See that rich color? And we are at uh, 248. Time to come over. Yeah, so... It's looking great. We've got one more thing to do. We're going to let this cool just a little bit and then we're going to add the vanilla and it'll be ready to get. Take your three bath gel too. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're going to add the magic touch to this caramel. It's what's going to make it really good and give it its flavor. We're going to put in two tablespoons of vanilla. Now you want to make sure that this is, you know, not real hot because it will bubble out like it's getting ready to do now. But you just mix that in, all that goodness, and it is delicious. And we are just about ready to dip now. So we want to make sure that's mixed in good. And I think we are ready to go. Okay. Okay, now you can take your caramel apples and you can actually freeze them about an hour ahead of time and that will make this go much quicker for you. Um, I didn't do that today, but that it is a great idea uh, if you want to do that. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to roll it, roll it, roll it in this caramel so that it is all over it. It's completely covered. I'm just going to let that drip a little bit because you don't want to spray this real good so when I put my apple down so we let that go real good there or spoon yeah we can get a knife and at the very bottom of it we can just kind of scrape it off a little bit because it will also fall down and then it'll be just fine so we'll just do that to the bottom of it now you can do anything with these caramel apples. You can put pecans on them. You can put on Oreos. I think on this one, we're just gonna do some pecans. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna roll it on there, just like this. Now you can do it all the way. I like to do it halfway. I think it just looks really pretty and festive to do it this way. But you're welcome to roll it completely in pecans. That's your choice. And then there is your beautiful caramel apple. We're going to do another one. That is a green one. Um, and this time we're going to do a red one. So we're going to take this app. We're going to take this and we're going to roll it all around and make sure that it gets completely on the apple. And we're going to let this, a lot of this caramel come off. Yeah, these are the, the $10 apples that I see at Walmart. Yes, these are the good ones, which any any apple will do, but these are really pretty. Now, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put on Oreos. Everybody loves Oreos, so this will be, I'm sure, pulled up quickly. So, now you have an Oreo. We had a little bit of caramel left over at the end and we just put it on some wax paper and folded that over. And when this cools down, you can just cut it in strips, make you the best caramel candy you've ever ate. So you don't wanna, don't wanna lose any of that goodness there. Now how long should they set? Um, I would say let those set at least an hour. For you. Okay. If you can wait that long. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's been a wonderful day, and having my daughter here has always been special. And my son's behind the camera, so it's a family day. Anyway, uh, do us a favor today. Be sure and like and share and subscribe. Be sure and ring the bell. Have a good day, and uh, we'll see you soon. And remember the joy. Remember the joy. Remember the joy. Remember the joy.